Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 24 of this video series. In this session, we're going to look at the second scenario of incremental load that is nothing but insert and update. So the add also be called as insert. And for this insert and update, uh, we basically have to perform the uh, three steps. And uh, so the first one is first we'll be loading the latest source data from the source file or source db and the second step is going to be concatenating the source data with the qvd data so based on the existence of id values so for updating and the third one is we are going to write the concatenated data into a qvd which will give us the, the final qvd so let's quickly jump into click view desktop and I want to creating a new click view document and let's save it as a insert underscore you update and then let's create the QVD file for, for the first time and I have a data set like this which has uh, uh, five fields in total ID category product sales and date load the table so here uh, the table would be from incremental load and sheet one let's finish it and then give this table a name call it as source and store this in a QED so store the table name is a source and then in two we have to specify path so I'll specify the path here the path is this one let's give a name I call it as inc underscore sc2 dot qvd and uh, You have to specify the extension that's the best practice oh that's all let's reload it then it might have created a qvd let's jump in there we can see here there is a qvd right right so now implement so now see this data so here we have data till 5th Jan 2018 and our QVD is also having the same records. Okay, means we have five records. Now what we're going to do is we will be adding one record. So I'll add six record and I'll, I'll put this category as C6, the product as P6 and sales as 250 and the date as 06 Jan 2016 and then I'll be updating this P5 sales I'll make this as 300 and I'll change because I have updated the sales I'll be changing the date here to 6 so now we have this ID in our existing QVD and the sixth one is our new record we will be fetching only the records that are later than the existing data so we have a date field so let's jump into click view first and then create a new tab and I'll write it as max date so in this tab we are going to write the max uh, date extraction logic so what we do is again so let's load this QVD so we have a date field in here so we will be requiring just max date so put max of date as a max date and give this table a proper name so I'll make it as the temp underscore max date and then we must be storing this field value sorry the max date value into a variable to use that further in our code 
So for that, what we're going to do is, so we'll be writing, uh, we'll be using a let variable, let v max date equals to, we'll use the peak for the reference. You may uh, watch my previous viewers for this peak statement. So here we have to pass the field name. The field name is max date and the index value we are going to extract the first value of this field because we will be getting only one value here and then we, the third parameter will be the table name from where we are fetching the uh, data so this is my this is our table right let's reload it so let's check whether we are getting the uh, I mean uh, right data into our variable or not so that will be v max date and uh, we'll use the date function to format it for the proper visualization so our format will be dd slash mmm hyphen yy then close it press ok so this is the 5th Jan 2018 this is the maximum date of the previous uh, I mean before we are updating this Excel sheet data okay right so the QVD is having 5th Jan as the maximum date so now what we are going to do is we will be fetching only records uh, which has a date greater than the 5th Jan and uh, remember most of the data sets will have updated date in their uh, database fields okay so we can use that field and if at all, if you have if uh, any of the data is not having any ID, uh, you can uh, create a composite key using the existing dimensions or else existing fields uh, from the table. Okay, we'll see that how it works in the uh, upcoming sessions. Right now, we have extracted the max rate and we don't need this table anymore. So let's drop this table. So drop table and then give a table name and save it. Now this drop table got deleted. Now what we are going to do is so we will be loading the data from the queue uh, from the source uh, where uh, the date field is greater than the max date of the existing uh, data. So now let's load this table so the source data is in our actual sheet so load this table uh, i'll write where statement here where the date is greater than means date greater than the v max date so what is the field what, what, what is the uh, variable name v max date so we have to use the dollar sign expansion so with dollar sign expansion our uh, vmax variable is consisting of only a numeric value so no codes are required right so if i reload it let's reload it then we will get one record right let's see one one line fetched it's okay and the temp max date sheet is fetched okay so now if i go to the and if i see here you can see uh, the other record there is another one i think we have specified two records that's six yeah oh, sorry so it's it should be 18 right right so uh, let's reload it right now we must be getting two records out here yes so one one is we have uh, uh, updated and the record is like we have added newly so now what we're going to do is we will load the QVD 
okay so let's then we'll specify load where not exists of id so now what it will do is so first this table will be uh, loaded it means this table will have only two ids that is five and six now this table is having one to five so what it will do is every time it is loading a record it will check here so if the id is existed here it won't load from here so we are putting where not exists of id so and we will be concatenating these two tables so put it as uh, inc underscore sc2 scenario 2 okay let's reload it right the qvd is optimized first uh, let's look at this we have one two three four and five six so this is how it will work and for your reference you may load all the fields and then you can see that so we have updated p5 uh, that's category 5 with uh, 300 and p6 as 250 that's all for the session thanks for watching the video please subscribe